I don't need that. I'll put the power in the middle now. I'll put the power in the middle now. Sometimes. I'm going to go down with the gear. Getting closer to the level, right? I think that's uh, uh, Diogo is a great competitor, like a DCC champion. I think like uh, you get someone that was not the winning in the brown belt and then like start winning now in the black belt, like little tournaments, and uh, you make them have this kind of performance that they have today. That that's our goal. Like as a coach, that's all you want. You want to make people get better and uh, see that if they work hard, they can beat anyone in the world. And uh, that's what, that's what we, we were able to see today, like Diogo won, and he's a, a great competitor, a smart competitor, but the level is really close, you can see. Uh, one, one fight at a time, like uh, I think like, it's hard to keep thinking ahead, like when you're like this, like you feel like every match brings a different emotion and like you have to, uh, you, I think you need to be present in the moment, you know, and uh, Right now, like for me, like of course, a loss is always bad, but like it uh, it shows the the work that we're doing is in the right in the right path. You know, it's just a matter of time.
As we planned it before, so Pablo just made it to the finals. I made it to the finals just 
great for a team. Life adder, lightweight, and middleweight. Hey, the team that was only for kids and juveniles is uh, it's making some noise in the black belt now.
Pato, I think he's already a high-level athlete, but no, we have been working together for uh, a small period, right? So I think like there's still I need to experience more of him in the competition and uh, be able to influence more in the training room. But uh, we're we're putting the work and uh, it, it's gonna pay off. He's a, an amazing athlete. Uh, I told you guys before, like there's so much more that we can see. But uh, I think like I didn't have time yet to put all the work and uh, and show the results to you guys, but it will happen soon. Would you hear you? His first year in the in the black belt, he just got the black belt. Being the finals of Pan Am's in his first year as a black belt is uh, already a huge accomplishment. A kid that moved to AOJ from Japan to train, I think this is also very unique. Just like a Pablo coming from Argentina to train, this is what what makes me happy. Is just having my work being recognized from uh, by people of all around the world and uh, making like young athletes come and like want to train and learn from us and. Uh, that's what's happening. We had we had Hiryu from Japan in the black belt finals, and uh, now I have Pablo from Argentina in the in the black belt finals. I think this is very unique to me. It's uh, it's very special because uh, that's the goal, right? You want to have an academy that embraces everybody, and like it's a it's a open door school for everybody that wants to get their their jiu jitsu to the next level. And uh, I think more than ever, we are able to display this work in the competition. I feel this is uh, the result of the work that we were doing, like getting two, getting one black belt to be in the finals of uh, a tournament like this, Pan Am's, it's, it's really hard. Uh, we got 
five male and one female in the finals of the black belt, so it was a lot. And uh, two in the same division, I, it's what I told you guys, uh, I, they're both professional, they want to be uh, recognized for their work, they want to, people to watch their matches, they want the media to cover their, their work. And uh, to me, like, more important than going there and getting the gold medal is uh, than like, showing the work uh, and, uh, and displaying what they do every day in, in the training. So. They, they're both amazing. Both guys, uh, I I like to work a lot. Like John works with me since he was uh, a kid, like since he was like 16 years old. And Pablo is one of those guys that, in a short period of time, he got so close to the group, and uh, he's very special to me too. So both of them, uh, like I try not to watch too much. Like I didn't even sit on the chair. I told them that I would sit there, but I didn't want to sit. But it, it is what it is. Like they're both amazing and. Uh, they did an amazing run to the finals. Uh, I'm very happy for that. Art of Jiu Jitsu, Dainan Dalbra. He competed against uh, Pedro in the quarterfinals of Worlds last year. So we watched the match like before when we saw he was uh, he was going to the finals. Then we uh, we uh, we went to the car and we were studying the matches. He lost a lot of positions when we watched. Like he was uh, dominating. He was able to pass, take the back. But uh, I told him like he like. From everything that we you, you learn, like from that match to here, like you should be tighter and you should be able to finish the fight. So like that's what he did. Like uh, everything was tight. That's why I was telling him to be patient the whole time. If you guys were able to see, and I was like, oh, I don't need to finish fast because like he wants to finish really fast, and sometimes he end up losing the position because like he doesn't take his time to adjust the grips. And uh, I think that was the main adjustment for the, for this match. You take your time. You have 10 minutes. Like, it doesn't matter if you're gonna finish in the first or in the last minute, as long as you're. Uh, you're building up the submission and like you see that you're dominating, it's fine. And uh, that's what he did. Yeah, we talked about it. Uh, it was great. Uh, Pedro is a, is a great athlete, competes very often in the middleweight division. So I was very fortunate to match up with him in the finals. He had a good side on his bracket, I had a good side on mine. And uh, the outcome was great. I was able to take the back something I was playing on, something that I've been developing lately after I released my uh, master class on it. And, uh, I think moments like this just kind of certify myself of the work that I do and I feel like today I'm, like you mentioned, uh, now with the team that we have, I'm more happy with the outcome of my teammates than, than my own, you know, like seeing them go to the finals, uh, many black belts, females and male and uh, girls and, guys and boys going to the, to the finals in the black belt, 
I think that's why I'm happy, you know, like uh, more than, than my own performance. You've been with the team since you were a juvenile and you've seen it grow. One thing he said was that just a few years ago it was still perceived as a, uh, a team for, for juveniles and teens and up-and-comers. And here we are with over five black belts in the finals and the podium. That must make you feel special to be a, a part of the beginning of this. Yeah, for sure. I think like like you mentioned, like we're all juveniles, we're all like little kids, you know, try to chase this dream and, and every day uh, challenge ourselves. And when you do that with, with such a, a great group like we have, with a leader like Professor Gee and Professor Hoffa, you know, with people that dedicate themselves every day and they, they give everything to, to their craft. I, f I feel like uh, you create a bond, you know what I mean? Like, it's like family and I feel like the, the union that we have, uh, the relationships that we have with our teammates, going to, you know, battles every day and, and, and challenging each other in the training. It could be very stressful, but many emotions happen, you know, and when you, when you share that with a group, I feel like there's no other way to to create this like uh, bond, no other way like stronger to create the bond like that, you know. So I'm happy for that. And again, the work that we do and the work that professor the professors work with us um, just turns into gold, you know. So eventually, sooner or later, a lot of uh, people, some of the guys didn't get the gold, but uh, I feel like it's we started and we with the path, you know. And everybody now behind us is gonna follow. So I think it's going to be great for the next coming years. You guys saw that great juvenile team. We took like double gold and many, many of the kids that were in my position uh, that I was a few years ago are now chasing the same thing and I'm very grateful. I want to ask you before we get out of here, Tynan, you have a, a perfect record, multiple titles at Black Belt. What keeps you pushing forward? Is it love of the work or something bigger? I think what keeps me pushing forward now is it's to continue leading the path for my teammates, you know? Um, like I said, if I can be an example for for many people out there, for my teammates, for people that are following my journey, and like I said, I'm still young, you know? Like, I've accomplished a few titles in uh, in this organization, and I'm, I'm happy with it. And what keeps me going is really my teammates, my family, the team that I do, uh, the work that we do every day. It's not really the accomplishments on the competition, but really the daily ones. You know, like we accomplish so much every day and every day we shoot to always uh, pursue the next level, you know, and continue to, to raise the level of Jiu-Jitsu. And that's what really makes me be here again. You know, if I can continue to push the level, continue to display more Jiu-Jitsu, I will continue to do that as long as, you know, as long as I accomplish all those goals of mine. And, I'll be I'll be here for a few more years. You guys, yeah, don't? I I think what's special too is like it's just one academy. Like you said, uh, a lot of times like people people from a lot of teams like they have multiple affiliations and they don't train with the, each other. But for us, it's like just one group. It's uh, like the the group that is in the same class every day comes to the competition together and. Uh, like juveniles, adult, like brown belts, like Cole was competing too, like they had an amazing performance, like all the juveniles, like you said. I think like we're in a stage where I feel so happy to see the result because you can see every step of the way and uh, like being accomplished. You see the juveniles that will be the future black belts, you see people that are very close to become the main uh, black belt champions, like Cole that had amazing performance. We had purple belt champions too. I think like for me, like it's a new phase of, uh, of the, my work, and uh, I'm so happy to see the, the the result of it. I got not too long ago I was coming to to this type of competition with a juvenile team, and I would live after that because we had no other uh, competitors. And uh, for me now, just to stay every single day and uh, collecting gold medals every day, it's uh, it displays not just my work, but I think like the work of. Uh, Every, every black belt that is here, they're competitors, but they're also instructors in the academy. They, like, guys like Tynan, uh, Jonathan, Pablo, like, all, all those guys, like, they, they help me to bring up all these juveniles and all these kids. And uh, I think it's going to make their transition to coach much smoother because like, they start connecting with, uh, with the younger ones. And uh, you guys are going to see in the next, like, probably in five years or, or less, they're gonna be their main instructors and they're gonna be here in my position like leading the team. So I feel so happy for this, uh, everything that we're living.